Hi, I'm Nick Fredericks from Flypaper Technologies, and I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about our brand new integration between our Sherlock product and Procore coordination issues. There are a couple things that need to be done before you can use the integration. One is that you need to install the application from the Procore marketplace into your project that you are working in. So I've already done that. I have the Sherlock data connection uh, integration enabled for all of my projects in Procore. And then the other thing that you need to do is open up a model using the Procore uh, tool. So if I go into the Procore tab and I click on open here, I can go in and find my NWF that is already saved into the Procore documents. We'll open up that file. All right, so now that I have this model open, which this model was already pre-linked to my Procore project, uh, now I can use Sherlock to do a couple things. So the first thing is that we're just gonna do a normal distill operation on the clash tests that are in this model. So there's one clash test in this model, and I'm just gonna run distill to create my clash groups for me. So there's only 17 clashes in this test, and now there's eight groups. So now you would go about your normal coordination efforts, and as you identify a couple or um, a couple clashes that you want to create coordination issues in Procore, uh, you can either select them in the clash detective, or you can also multi-select a few of them if you wanted to create coordination issues for multiple clash groups all at once. And the last thing that you need to do before you can actually create the groups is you actually need to connect Procore under the Sherlock tab. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Click on connect Procore. And now that Procore has been connected, uh, I can hit create issue. So what that'll do is it'll bring up a create issue dialog and this gives you the ability to uh, bulk assign all of these clashes uh, to a single person. This will create a single coordination issue in uh, Procore for each one of these clash groups. So this is going to create five different coordination issues in Procore coordination. So if I will assign this to myself, um, you can specify the location, the type, the priority, the due date, and the description as well here. Um, and these fields are uh, tied to your configurable field sets within Procore. So if you have any of these that are marked as required in your configurable field set, then they'll be required here as well. So I'm just gonna create these. So it's gonna go ahead and upload all of these uh, issues into Procore. Okay, so now that I have uploaded all, all uh, five of these clash groups to Procore, you can see um, if I switch over to the Procore interface, so I will select my project in Procore and I will go to coordination issues. You can see that all five of those have been created inside of Procore. Um, they're associated with no location. Um, so let me turn off this filter here. So here they are. So I've got all five of these, and if I click on one of them, it has the screenshot of where it is, um, and it has also been linked to the model as well, so you can click on the, the view cube here and it will open up the Procore model viewer as well. Um, so that's the first portion of this integration, which is just a uh, direct create issues from your clashes inside of Navisworks. And then the second part of this integration is actually a two-way sync between Procore coordination issues and uh, the Clash Detective itself. So say inside of here, of this group 15, maybe we decided that we're just gonna close this. So I'm gonna actually close this issue um, inside of Procore here. Um, and then say maybe group 13, uh, maybe we decided we wanted to name this thing. Um, I'll just call it fix this for now. And then as another example, uh, let me go to group 11 and maybe the assignee was really wrong. It actually isn't me um, and it should be someone else. So I'm going to choose another assignee here. So that's for group 11. So now if I go back to uh, Navisworks here 
and I can click on the sync issues button within the Procore panel underneath the Flypaper Sherlock tab. And what that will do is you can see that those three changes that I made inside of Procore um, are now options for me to sync those changes into the Navisworks Clash Detective. So it's got three of them here um, and it tells me what the pending change is. So for group 11, the pending change is that inside of Navisworks, it's going to assign that clash to Dave. And the reason is, is that the assignee was changed in Procore. So same thing with name changes. So name changes back and forth between Navisworks and Procore um, will be synced as well. So um, group 13 is gonna be changed to fix this. And that's because the item or the issue name was changed in Procore. And because we closed that one issue in Procore, it is going to approve that clash group within the, Nav the Navisworks Clash Detective. So you can pick and choose which one of these um, sync operations you want to actually apply. And you also do have the ability to ignore any of the selected ones as well. So if you don't want the change to actually happen, you can just check, on, check the box and click on ignore. Um, before I make this change, I'm actually going to go in here as well, and I'm going to go into a clash group here, and I'm gonna change um, the name as well here. So this is group nine. I'm gonna uh, make this one to, you know, um, fix this number two. And then I am also going to change its status as well. So maybe we decided we actually could approve this, this clash inside of Navisworks. So if I go back to my sync issues, you see that there's a couple more uh, options here now. And uh, for those two changes that I made, there are two more rows. So now for that group nine, which is now called fix this number two inside of Navisworks, it is going to close the issue in Procore because it was approved in Navisworks. And uh, it's going to change the issue name in Procore to fix this number two because it, the name was changed in Navisworks. So I'm just gonna let it do all of these things and sync those. So now if I go back to here, you can see that uh, the group 15 is now approved because we closed that issue inside of Procore. Um, that other group that we renamed inside of Procore to fix this is now renamed. And you can see that group 11 is now assigned, if I expand this a little bit, assigned to Dave um, inside of the Clash Detective as well. So uh, this integration is kind of constantly monitoring for changes in Procore and also in your Navisworks Clash Detective and gives you the ability to kind of pick and choose which operations that you want to sync back and forth between the Procore coordination issue and the Navisworks Clash Detective. And I believe that takes us through uh, the, this integration. And thanks for watching.